Hi everyone, this is Frank DeMora with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. This may be your first time here at my YouTube channel. And if it is, I'd like to invite you to go to my website, which is www.bibleprophecyman.com. And once you're there, you're going to see the front cover of my book. Looks just like this. And the back cover. And right below it, you'll see a link. You click to the link, and you can download this Bible prophecy documentary that took me a very, very long time to put together. You could download it for free today. And there's more than a, enough information, evidence, proof, documentation to show you that everything that Jesus warned about that was going to happen in one single generation, all of the things in prophecy that he said, watch, keep on the look, for these things because when you see him we would know that he was coming back for us soon and so I'd like to again invite you to go to my website now when you're there at my website to scroll down and the articles that I'm connecting the Bible prophecies with the current events they're gonna be there the links are there click the link and you could read the whole story if you'd like to and I, as a matter of fact I recommend that you do because I want you to understand that what I am saying is not something I'm making up. This is news that's being reported, and I'm connecting the dots for you. Now I want to get into, there's actually a few prophecies that I want to put together. And if you have a Bible, go to your Bible, and after I give you the scriptures, look these scriptures up. Revelation chapter 18, verse 12. In this verse, there's a list of different items that people are going to be crying over, weeping, as that scripture says. over the, In the last days, those people living during the tribulation period, they're going to have many items stripped from them, from the Lord Jesus Christ. And these items have become idols to an unrighteous people. And instead of putting their treasure in Christ, they put their treasure in these items. Now, two of the items on the list is gold and silver. And so we know that by the time the tribulation is in full blown and the world is concerned about the, the political, one world political system, the one world economic system, and the religious, one world uh, religious system, it will be at this time, almost at the end of the tribulation, that God rips these things away from an unrighteous people. And so, if they're weeping over these gold and the silver and these other items, it shows that they're very, very expensive because people don't cry over dust or dirt or things that don't matter. They're crying over things that they found dear to their heart, wealth. So, I've been warning for the last couple of years, please watch the gold and the silver because you're going to see records set because we're heading to that seven-year tribulation. We're on the road of fulfilling that seven-year tribulation. And I say we're on the road. The Christians are on the same road, but they're going to be yanked off of this road before the tribulation begins. And I'm not going to get into uh, the doctrine of pre, mid, or post. I'm just telling you that Revelation 18, 12 shows that the gold and the silver are two of those items that they're going to be weeping over when it's taken. Now, in case you haven't been following, the news came out of San Francisco today at Market Watch. Let me read this. It says, Gold futures closed at the record high, and silver futures advanced to a fresh three-decade uh, three high. On Tuesdays, as simmering tensions in the Middle East and North Africa, along with fears of inflation, drew investors to the metals. And so you have because of the chaos that's going on in the Middle East countries and as a matter of fact Jesus pointed that out in Matthew 24 7 when he said you watch kingdom against kingdom will be in, in fighting against this, each other that's what that means kingdom fighting against the, uh, each nation amongst themselves and we're seeing this now all week we saw it all last week and the turmoil over in the Middle East is causing the precious metals to advance. And you're going to see more of this. Now keep in mind, we are in the birth pang, so sometimes the, the price will go down.
But what'll happen is it will climb again when the birth pangs get more intensified. And if you want to do a track by yourself, go back and look at the past record of gold and silver and you'll see that it is on the way up, okay? Now, there's I want to tie in something else that they said in here, but before I do, I want to give you the price of the silver. According to this news article today, it says that uh, it gained 61 cents or 1.8% to 34 Point thirty four an ounce. So again, setting uh, new records, and this was uh, uh, again the a, a record, a fresh record, three decade high record for the silver. So those people who bought that silver a while back, you're you're making some good money. Now here's the deal: you can have all the money in the world, but Jesus said, you can. What does it profit a man if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? And then remember, it's where your heart is. If your heart is based around the gold and the silver, then your, your gold and the silver is your idol, and you're going to be in trouble. But if you take the wealth, and Jesus is always the focus of your life, and the gold and the silver is not your idol, don't be afraid to handle the gold and the silver. It's where you are personally with Jesus Christ. People are buying gold and the silver and they know that they'll be able to use these finances later to advance the kingdom of God. There's nothing wrong with that. It's again the matter of your heart. God, when he looks, as a matter of fact in the Old Testament and the New Testament, uh, it says that God knows the hearts and minds of men and Jesus knows the hearts and minds of men. And they're the only ones that do. So, while you're buying the gold and the silver, it's registered in heaven. You're not fooling Jesus Christ by any means. So, not only do you see the, the kingdom fighting against kingdom, you see the unrest, you see the gold and the silver climbing. These are all things that Christ warned about, and they're only part of the whole picture. Now, if you scroll down, if you're brand new at my site, if you keep scrolling down, you'll see all the articles, all the events that are taking place and how I link them in with Bible prophecy. Now, I'm not adding anything. All I'm doing is showing you the scriptures, what Jesus told us to look for, and what the Old Testament prophets told us to look for in these last days. And then I'm showing you the result, what's in the news. For example, East Jerusalem, how that's the major problem in the world today because the peace process has fallen apart and the Palestinians want East Jerusalem as their capital and the whole world is coming against Israel and I show you tons of articles that shows you Israel is now almost alone but this is exactly what Zechariah prophesied so please take the opportunity of getting this material for free download it today for free and start reading it because we are drawing very very close to the church being taken out of the way and when you read the book you'll see all of the signs that the Lord told us from the Old Testament and New Testament I did my best to bring you as much detailed information as I can now unlike some other books that you may have to pay for you're gonna find that there's generalities but in this particular text, the documentary that I put together, there is, it's based on uh, specific detailed events that the Lord told us to look for. And so, please, again, take the time, go to my website, and uh, tell others about how they can get this material for free, and pray for this ministry. People are coming to the ministry people are being saved and that's the whole point of bringing them here it's I'm not making any money I don't want any money I want to advance the kingdom of the Lord and my reward will be in heaven when I leave here I don't really care about anything else it's getting to heaven and having the Lord say well done good and faithful servant Frank enter into my rest so and I want that for you too because that's what Jesus Christ wants for you he doesn't want you to be standing on the sidelines in this race that he has put us into. He wants you to get in, get your equipment on, your running shoes, and sprint to the finish line with your hands raised up, giving them to the Lord Jesus and say, I finished. 
I pray that that's your uh, your sight. So thanks again for letting me into your home and please check tomorrow if there's anything going on. I will make sure that I'll do my best to post it for you. God bless.